Good morning. Welcome as we celebrate Tuesday of the sixth week in Ordinary Time. Today we come seeking to find favor with the Lord and have eyes that see Him and ears that hear His voice. Our Mass intention for today is for the repose of the soul of Michael Melian. Our celebrant is Father Cristiano. Please stand. Open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see. Open my ears, Lord. Help me to hear your voice. Open my ears, Lord. Help me to hear. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with all of you. Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing? Are you dry or wet? I hope you're all dry. So we are welcoming our students. We also know that uh, all of them are following us from their uh, classrooms. And you have uh, our congregation here welcoming all of you as we begin our Mass today. And for that, we turn to God, asking Him, first of all, to forgive us from all our sins. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us all, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. When the Lord saw how great was man's wickedness on earth, and how no desire that his heart conceived was ever anything but evil, he regretted that he had made man on the earth, and his heart was grieved. So the Lord said, I will wipe out from the earth the men whom I have created, and not only the men, but also the beasts and the creeping things and the birds of the air, for I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found favor with the Lord. Then the Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and all your household, for you alone in this age have I found to be truly just. Of every clean animal, Take with you seven pairs, a male and its mate, and of the unclean animals, one pair, a male and its mate. Likewise, of every clean bird of the air, seven pairs, a male and a female, and of all the unclean birds, one pair, a male and a female. Thus will you keep their issue alive over all the earth. Seven days from now, I will bring rain down on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights, and so I will wipe out from the surface of the earth every moving creature that I have made. Noah did just as the Lord had commanded him. 
As soon as the seven days were over, the waters of the flood came upon the earth. The word of the Lord. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Give to the Lord, you sons of God. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The Lord over vast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The God of glory thunders, and in his temple all say glory. The Lord is enthroned above the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. Jesus enjoined them, watch out. Guard against the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. They concluded among themselves that it was because they had no bread. When he came aware of this, he said to them, Why do you conclude that it is because you have no bread? Do you not yet understand or comprehend? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and not see, ears and not hear? And do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the 5,000, how many wicker baskets full of fragments you picked up? They answered him, Twelve. When I broke the seven loaves for the four thousand, how many full baskets of fragments did you pick up? They answered him, Seven. He said to them, Do you still not understand the gospel of the Lord? So this... uh, Today, in today's Mass, this Tuesday, we have the reading of uh, the book of Genesis that talks about Noah, the story of Noah that we all know. And uh, in the reading says that uh, the Lord said that he was sending for 40 days rain on the earth. So, as you know well, in this past four or five days, we have been having, having rain. Huh? Are we in the same way or not? Are we going to have a deluge, a flood? I don't think so. Huh? Okay. This was a passage from the Old Testament. But what we are going to reflect today is on how Jesus always taught his disciples. Huh? He had to have a lot of patience. Oh, 
parents, teachers, catechists, everybody who teaches someone, they need to have a lot of patience. Teaching and patience, they go in parallel. So, he taught them by parables, he taught them by performing miracles, and sometimes he used to bring them apart to give them a private teaching too. So, the reading of today shows us that he was talking to the disciples about a person and a group of people. He was talking about King Herod and the Pharisees. Boys and girls, are you following me? Good. So, in talking about this two, the person and the group, he uses, he uses the image of Laban, East. And the first reaction of the apostles is to think about bread. And Jesus was not talking about bread. He was saying that, oh, sometimes if we have one bad king, it affects the whole kingdom. If we have one wrong group of people, it may affect the whole worship in the temple. So, Jesus says, you, my disciples, you need to have more perception. You need to have your understanding sometimes more clear. And that was they were lacking. Lacking. So, what is the teaching for us? What can we draw? What can we understand of this dialogue, in this specific time between Jesus and his disciples? First of all, first of all, it's important to keep in mind that Jesus says, Oh, because of your lack of perception, it, it looks like you have ears, but you don't see. I mean, you have eyes and you don't see. You have ears, but you, do, you don't hear. You need to be more attentive. So, evidently, you know, we all in our lives, we need to be more attentive to what God is telling us. We need to have our hearts open and pay attention to all his words. We cannot simply presume that we know everything. Sometimes we think we know everything, but we don't. It takes us a long way, and we need to have humility to recognize that. It takes us a long way to see things the way God wants us to see them. It takes us a long way also to hear the word that is proclaimed to us in the way God wants us to hear them. It is part of our adjustment. It is part of our conversion. It is part of our journey. Did you all understand what I said? Good. So, as we now, from tomorrow on, we are beginning the holy season of Lent, let us ask the Lord to give us eyes to really see His presence in our lives and to give us ears that will hear his word in a way that his word can shape and transform our lives.
Please stand. Obedient to God's commands, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sheltered in the ark of the church, we pray. For all who seek to live in righteousness, we pray. For all who mere creation with acts of violence, we pray. For all who tend and care for wildlife and livestock, we pray. For all who suffer illness caused by pollution and neglect, we pray. For all who obey God's commands with humility, we pray. For all who wait to be counted among the saved, we pray. Bless us with faithfulness, the faithful, faithfulness of Noah and his family, Lord, and give all living things a shelter that will find your presence in us through your mercy. May we live as children of the new covenant in Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear students, brothers and sisters, that mine and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> may this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord the Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. 
holy You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all love you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all love you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you, Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread it throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, all the clergy, the religious, the ministers, and the people of God. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Today we pray for Mar Michael Million. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us confidently pray in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now share with one another the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Now for uh, all those who were following us from their homes, as well as all the students from their classrooms, we have the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Our mass times for Ash Wednesday are 6.30 a.m., 8.30 a.m., 6 o'clock p.m., and 8 o'clock p.m. in Spanish. There will be a live stream at 8.30 a.m. and one in Spanish at 8 p.m. Let us pray. Having fed upon this heavenly delight, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with all of you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us all go forth in peace. May all of us have a very good day. Open my heart, Lord. Help me to love like you. Open my heart, Lord. Help